Hi there guys, uh, back with another review. Um, this time I'm just having a look at something I picked up over in Tokyo. Uh, so these are these um, kind of Battle Beast, uh, Beast Saga set. Uh, I believe this is from Wave 2. Uh, I think this is a fairly recent set um, released over in um, Japan. You see the boxes, uh, they actually came in a... Uh, they're all kind of packaged together. But it's basically a whole of Wave 2, which is these eight figures here. All the boxes are exactly the same, um, from what I could tell anyway. Um, and if you've got this light-up gimmick, which I haven't got the batteries for yet, so I haven't quite worked that one out yet. And along the side here, it shows you all of the different characters from that particular line. And shows you some of the uh, gimmicks with it as well, including... Um, oh, I'll show you them in a minute, but it shows you some of the weapons and some of the different things that they can do and on the side there it just shows you uh, I think some of the additional dice that they come with uh, to go with the um, the kind of uh, kind of board game sort of thing there as well um, you get a kind of card with each of them um, kind of missing one can't find one of them but you've got this um, kind of alligator one here uh, you've got this uh, rhino one here as well. I'll show you the figures as well. This uh, gorilla guy here. This kind of um, turtle one is lo looks quite funny. Um, this eagle one here this looks excellent. And uh, this kind of bunny rabbit one. And uh, I think is that the um, I think that's the kangaroo one. And then I'm. I uh, can't find the one for the kind of like tigerish sort of looking one. So I'll just show you the figures here. They're all kind of made of this translucent plastic. So I think the batteries come somewhere in the back here. And they've got this little symbol on the front. Um, and a dice in which you can put in here. Which shows you the, um, the kind of their kind of sign. They've got these... Um, kind of weapons here. This was very soft plastic so it's this one's kind of been bent out of shape in there. The head doesn't move on this one but the arms move up and down and the um, the wrists swivel on this one. I don't think the wrists swivel on this one. On some of them they do. There's nice kind of mouldy detail on it and the arms move up and down the legs just move forward and back and then you've got this little thing where you press the back here and it kind of shoots the dice out and uh, they've got various different numbers on the side of them um, and then with each one they do you can just push that back in there they've got these other dice here as well um, so like I said I've got no idea what you do on the game so you've got this one which looks like a an arrow another one which looks like an arrow some sort of symbol on that one um, this one's just got a symbol on one side uh, this one, which might be like a damage kind of dice, it's got plus nine on or plus six, I guess, depending which way. Looking at this one's a like plus five one. Again, another symbol one, another symbol one, and another plus five dice. Uh, so got that. Um, yeah, so that's the kind of crocodile alligator one. Um, a bit of paint on there, there for the eyes, but uh, get a bit of a close up so you can. Get a look at him. I might do it like a small video if I if I do get the batteries for these. And like size wise, they're on par for like a Titan Master. So if I bring in this guy here, they're about they're bigger than those ones, but it gives you an idea anyway. Now this one's kind of the kind of eagle one, kind of yellow and green, quite cool color scheme for these. I love the translucent plastic they've used on these ones. Again, the hand doesn't move on this one. He's got a shield and a like a spear, which is used for quite a lot of them. Um, this bit doesn't come off here. Yeah. Some of the legs are a bit limited in terms of moving the feet forward because of how the kind of sculpt works. But the detailing on them is pretty good. Generally, they're um, two sort of um, sets of translucent plastic with a little bit of paint. Um, sort of for the eyes and the face normally. Um, again, this one's uh, pretty decent. He's got the symbol on the front for that. 
and on the back there so if you do lose them it's fairly easy to to match them up and obviously you've got like a picture of the actual character so this is your bunny rabbit one he's got these kind of motorized uh, legs here um, on one of them you can move the arms around perhaps it's not this one uh, can you move the head on this one no but the soft plastic on here and he's actually got the same weapon um, as the previous one here uh, the articulation with the hands is the same and this one here is like a kind of a kangaroo with kind of these kind of boxing gloves on the legs on this one you do get a, a movement all the way around with this one there's nothing stopping it and uh, the arm swell can move all the way around no um, articulation at the fist here or waist articulation or anything the head also doesn't move again just the two lots of um, kind of translucent plastic and uh, you've got the eyes painted in here um, this, this uh, turtle one guy at the back here is probably one of my favourite ones he's quite a camp looking character um, there's uh, a lot of detail on, on these figures here he's got this kind of um, army or kind of navy sort of hat on uh, loads of sculpted details with this kind of uniform um, on the shoulders there and uh, these kind of pieces on the arm here He's got a shield, um, slightly different um, kind of sword on here. Again, no articulation on the hands apart from the up and down movement on the arms. Uh, he does have this great big shell on the back. Obviously, you can push that in if you want to clear it up, um, if you don't want that piece on there. If you do do it, it just looks like that with a kind of clear piece through there. And obviously, you can do it so you can put the other dice in there as well if you want to. Uh, and then the legs just move forward and back no articula articulation sorry on the head and then you've got your monkey one your kind of optimus primal looking one if you like again the colors on this one actually both the colors are very similar um but standard articulation he's got a, a shield and a, a sword again the plastic is really soft so depending on how they've been stored you may get out the sword it may be kind of, kind of bent over like that um, but they should be fairly easy to kind of bend back into shape. And again, with the legs, they all stand up pretty easy. They're, if anyone's had the original Battle BC, they are a little bit bigger than those. Uh, this guy's probably the chunkiest, this kind of rhino uh, looking one. Uh, he's like got this kind of armor all on his shoulders, uh, soft, kind of bendy plastic. But his arms do go all the way around. Um, his legs, again, you can kind of move them back but not forward. Um, again you've got paint for the eyes here as well so that's that guy and last but not least is um, this kind of kind of lion looking one here again very similar kind of outfit to all the rest of them he's got this kind of shield piece that kind of goes over a bit like a kind of lion with his his claw um, and it just stays in there it doesn't come off or anything but it's quite a good additional detail um, all the rest are kind of symmetrical then you've got this one which is uh, which isn't so you've got that um, different sword again and uh, a shield here um, I do think on some of them the wrists move but they don't actually um, so you've got that and again with the legs just moving up and down and the arms all the way around and that's pretty much it for those guys um, appreciate it's not the normal kind of Transformers review but um, I thought it was worth just having a look I haven't seen these guys um, over here I'm not sure um, many people were aware of them so I just thought I'd post a quick video let me know what you think and um, or if you've got any sets or if you've got any idea actually how to play the game that would be much appreciated thanks a lot guys so see you all soon bye bye